I love taking photos. I love the creative process and I love the artistry of photography. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and I am no professional and I prefer to use my smartphone more than a real DSLR, but I do love the end results. But if I'm like a lot of folks, I don't do much with the photos once I've taken them. Sure, I use them for work or I might look back at some great vacation shots now and then, but for all of the 30,000 plus photos I have on my cloud, I don't have a lot of physical copies. That's where a photo printer can come in handy. I recently got my hands on the new Fujifilm Instax Mini Link printer that prints small glossy photos. I'll tell you what the device can do, how it works, and whether I think it's a good way to make the most of all your digital photos. An early ask that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please hit that like button and give me a sub because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Setting this printer up was much easier than the last time I tried a Fujifilm printer. There's a new app for starters, the Fujifilm Instax Mini Link app, which appears to be new since the Instax Share app. You'll want to load up the film first, and these cartridges are easy to insert. In this case, turn the printer on and follow the instructions. You'll pair the printer with your phone and then you're ready to go. For me, it took less than 30 seconds, and from there, you're ready to print. The printer prints small 3 by 2 inch photos that are about the size of a credit card with a paper border. To print a photo, choose your picture, make any adjustments to it or add some simple filters, then hit print. In 12 seconds, the photo will spit out and start to develop. It takes just about a minute to fully render, and that's quite fast compared to some other similar technology. There are a few printing options with the Minilink photo printer. You can easily print a photo from a video frame from right within the app. That saves you having to edit it on your phone first. You can also print photo collages, you can line photos up to print as a mosaic, and use fun frames and more. Now let's get to where the rubber hits the road with this device, and that is the photo quality. I have to say I found the photo quality of the Instax prints to be really, really good. They're clear, crisp, and detailed, and look just as good as other more traditional photos. There was no blurring, no ghosting, and no issues with the sample film pack I used. On another similar photo printer recently, the Polaroid Lab, I had quite a few bad printouts. You can check out that review here on the channel as well. Now turning to another feature, the Fujifilm Instax Mini Link printer has a built-in motion sensor. And to this I say, why? If you orient the printer in certain ways, it will automatically do things. For example, if you turn the printer upside down and press the power button, it will reprint your last Instax photo. Now I guess that's meant to be a shortcut, but I don't think it's one I'd ever use. Film for the Fujifilm Instax Mini Link printer comes in 10 packs and comes in color, black and white, or with different color borders. A pack of 10 costs about $14 Canadian or about $1.40 per print. This is significantly less than the Polaroid Lab prints, which cost about double that. Overall, there is a lot to like about this printer. It's compact and you can bring it anywhere. It'll easily fit in a bag or a purse. It's fast, it prints photos in about 12 seconds and those photos develop fast too in about a minute. The photo quality is great overall and the prints aren't going to break the bank. It's easy to set up and to use as well. I don't really see any downsides to this printer, except maybe if I was going to be nitpicky, it does only print the one size of photo, and that's the two inch by three inch size. But with other options like colored borders and black and white printing, you do have other options. The Fujifilm Instax Mini Link printer here sells for about 129 Canadian dollars, and you can get it from places like Best Buy. If you want to read more, head over to TechGadgetsCanada.com where I've posted a full blog and you can ask me any questions you have about the device, either there on the blog or, as always, here on the YouTube channel. I'm Erin, thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and give me a sub, since it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Until the next time, you can find me on Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me at Facebook.com slash TechGadgetsCanada bunch of different frames and drawings and other effects too. Hi Kika. <laughs> Hi. Whoa. Oh, dog.